Hey guys, what's up? It's Audra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's been a while since I've done one of my favorite segments on this channel and that's because I use the excuse of I've been getting used to my apartment and you know learning the ropes of being in a place for myself and it's been a while since I've done a cooking with Audra segment so here we are and that's what we're gonna do today. If you guys didn't already know, I've talked about it a little bit on my Instagram, I have been doing HelloFresh because I hate to say it, I'm just so bad at cooking. Like, not cooking, just like coming up with things to cook. So I've been doing HelloFresh and I thought that this would be a fun one to do like a cook with Audra on because I have never made fish in my whole entire life at home other than like salmon, but I just like stick it in the air fryer. I don't really like do anything. And in my HelloFresh box this week, I got fish and I'm very excited about it. So today on Cooking with Audra, we are going to make baked tilapia and fresh tomato dill relish. So if you guys don't know what HelloFresh is, this isn't sponsored at all, by the way, but HelloFresh, if you want to, please feel free. Um, they send you a box every week or whatever you want with however many meals you want. So I get usually get three or four. Um, and these are for two people, so sometimes Zach will eat with me and we'll eat all the food, but like he doesn't like fish, so I'll make this tonight and then I'll eat half of it for lunch tomorrow as well. Um, but yeah, this is what I have today. So they send you these little papers or you can do them on the website or on your app or whatever. And this is your recipe. It tells you what comes in your box. Um, this is like the finished plated product. And then on the back, it tells you step-by-step -step directions of everything you need to do. And then over here, it tells you what you need to bust out that you like don't have in the kit so it's like a small pot a strainer medium bowl baking sheet paper towels small bowl I assume that the small bowl is going to be for like the tomato dill and then the medium bowl is going to be for the potato salad that's happening so that's what I'm thinking and then kosher salt black pepper cooking oil and olive oil normally it comes with like literally everything else so this one comes with Red potatoes, creme fraiche, green beans, dill, tomato, garlic, the fish, and red wine vinegar. And it literally comes with the exact amount that you need for your meal, which is so nice. So I'm going to do a little cooking with Audra today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just cook the potatoes. Um, I have to preheat the oven, so that's what I'm going to do now, and then get a pot of water boiling for the potatoes. And that's kind of what we're going to roll with right now. Okay, so meanwhile, while the water is boiling, the next thing I'm gonna do is open my bag. So they send you just paper bags. Um, this one has green beans. And then here's all my little pre-portioned sauces that I need for this. Um, and then the first thing that's gonna go in is the potatoes. So I'm gonna cut those up right now before I do anything else while this water is boiling. Also guys, I can't lie. I was just building my outdoor furniture set and my hands are like in shambles from like twisting these screws and stuff on. So I'm like in pain, but I'm gonna make it through this dinner because I'm so hungry. So the thing about HelloFresh is you do so much chopping. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see me cutting this up, but don't mind my messy disaster house behind me because as I said, I was just building my entire furniture set. So it's a little bit crazy in here. Okay, my potatoes are all chopped and now all I have to do is add these to salted water. So I need to salt the water and then boil for 10 to 12 minutes for potato salad. I just got these new salt and pepper shakers. I'm obsessed with them. They're really cool. Anyways. Okay, potatoes are in. I'm gonna rinse off my cutting board. While the potatoes are cooking, I am going to chop up the rest of these vegetables. I feel like half my time 
cooking HelloFresh is basically just about chopping, which like, that's fine with me. But I feel like there's actually the least chopping that I normally have to do today. So I'm just trimming the green beans right now. And basically, if you guys don't cook or know or whatever, it's just trimming off these little like stems from the beans because you don't want like little crunchy stems. It's gonna take me a while because I've got a ton of green beans. And then I just have to chop up the dill, the tomatoes, and the garlic. And usually, I'll show you guys what I do. I don't use a garlic press because I have one, I do. I hate cleaning garlic presses. I think it's one of the most annoying things in the whole entire world. Um, so I use, Oh, my oven. It's preheated. So I use a microplane to uh, grate my garlic. I don't know if anybody else does that, um, but a lot of like food creators I watch on like TikTok and stuff do that. I feel like that's probably where I learned it from. I just think it's a way more efficient way. This is basically just a wannabe wishbone kitchen dinner with friends episode, except she is much more talented than me because she actually makes up her meals and I just use HelloFresh. I'll tell you a funny story while I'm chopping up these beans is the fire alarms at my apartment are like so sensitive. <laughs> and so sometimes when I'm cooking, they just randomly go off. So if you see me in a panic rush around my apartment and start here beeping, it's because the fire alarm's going off. So I apologize in advance. The dill, the tomato, and washing it. Chopping up tomato might be one of like my least favorite things in my whole entire life. Probably right next to chopping up onions. No matter how well I try and do this, it's gonna go everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. Let me turn you down so you can see. I'm gonna chop up the rest. Now everything is chopped and that means we move on to roasting the fish and the green beans. So I'm just gonna get out a pan and I'm gonna get the fish out, pat it dry, probably put some oil on it. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So let's do it. If there's one thing I learned from HelloFresh, it's like trying to like clean up my cooking station, like while I'm cooking. Cause I have the worst habit of just like not cleaning up and then just like being absolutely panicked trying to make room for stuff um really quick i actually think my potatoes are done so i'm going to drain those really quick and then i'll be back if there's one thing about me it's that i love a good potato salad okay let's move on to the fish so here's the fish i'm going to open this up and pat it dry with some paper towels over here. And then transfer everything, including the green beans, onto a baking sheet. I just got this new baking sheet from, I think, I don't know how to say it, Le, Le Creuset. Um, and it's super nice. I All my other baking sheets were literally like bending in the oven, but this one's like killing it, so shout out. But I'm just gonna grab this fish out of the packaging. I actually like working with fish, like more than anything, because Touching like meat and stuff, I don't know, like weirds me out. It makes me all nervous. So this is actually probably gonna be the easiest. This fish looks so good. I actually love tilapia, I'm so excited. Okay, here's the thing about me. I don't like putting oil straight into like a pan because I think it the oil burns and it gets like gross in the oven. So I always season my stuff in like a bowl and then transfer it over to a pan once I like put the oil and the seasonings on it outside. I don't know, it's just like something that I have with food. Just grabbing the olive oil for the beans. And then I guess you don't actually put the fish in any oil. I'm gonna do a little bit on it because it says to put on an oiled baking sheet, but like I said, I don't really like to do that and I don't need to like spray this pan, so. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit on and then it says season with salt and pepper. So I'm gonna dump these green beans on and then do my fish 
which I'll bring you guys down here for so you can see. So while my hands already have oil on them, I'm gonna use this as my fish hand and like drizzle some olive oil on these so you guys can see, let me turn it. do is transfer this over to the baking sheet and then you just put them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes and that's it so I'm gonna put these on there and then pop them in the oven to cook through so we cleaned up the station a little now we are going to do this little potato salad and I'm gonna pop it in the fridge while I wait I'm gonna put these here for now because it's really hard for me to get them down so all I have to do is put the potatoes in and then rem fresh i actually think i'm gonna go a little bit against the rules here and put also half the dill not half the dill but like a sprinkle of the dill in here because i think that it will be delicious i'm just gonna sprinkle the dill in a little just a little bit um i don't know what this vinegar is for oh okay for the other thing so i'm just gonna mix these up and then probably just pop these in the fridge until the rest of it is done so i'm not eating hot potatoes which i also would actually probably be fine with but i like them to cool down a little bit so i'm gonna pop them in and then the final step is just the relish so it is the tomato the garlic the dill all going right in there with my hands because i'm lazy i don't want to dirty that many utensils um then i'm going to pop my little container of red wine bin that's going in tablespoon and a half of olive oil one tablespoon in I guess I probably am just going to eyeball it because I don't want to dirty the half. That looks about right. If there's anything I've learned from Baked by Melissa, I don't know if you guys are a fan of her or not. Um, I have her cookbook actually up there, Come Hungry. It's that you can pretty much eyeball anything. So that's what I do. Um, it also says that you're supposed to transfer a splash of this liquid into the potato salad bowl. So I actually might go grab that out of the fridge and do that right now. Five minutes until my fish is ready and I can eat. So what I do during that time is load the dishwasher, get everything cleaned up so I can enjoy a peaceful meal. So that is what I'm gonna do right now and I'll see you guys when the fish is done. Okay, everybody, we've got T minus 25 seconds till the fish is done. I think. It says until tilapia is cooked through, but like, how am I supposed to know? Anyways, um, here's my beautiful plates. I love them so much. They are stone and lane. My grandparents got them for me, so shout out. So I'm gonna start getting this out, and then I'm gonna grab the fish out of the oven and see what it looks like. Moment of truth. I think it's done. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. It's white everywhere, but it was like that anyways, so I don't know but it looks delicious. I'm just gonna say it's done because it looks done. Like the entire inside is white. So I'm gonna plate it up. It's like so, yeah, it's done. It's so tender. It's just like falling apart when I pull it off of this. I'm so excited. I haven't had fish in so long. And then I'm gonna grab the potato salad out of the fridge. This is like a very basic potato salad, but it smells delicious. I'm gonna shut my oven off before I forget. Half ish of the potato salad beautiful some of this on top it says use a spoon for this but i really don't want to but i'm going to for the sake of it looking good i have to do the dishes anyway so it says to spoon it like right over the fish so that's what i'm gonna do and like get some of that juice on it this looks pretty beautiful i'm gonna show you and then i'm gonna take a bite and let you know what i think Okay, here's the real moment of truth. I'm gonna try the potato salad first because I'm the least scared of that. Scrumptious. Let's chomp on a bean. Mmm. There's one thing about me is I love green beans. Okay. Now the fish. 
I'm gonna grab a piece and get like a few pieces of tomato on it and some dill. Oi. Cheers. Oh my god. It's perfect. Wow. This might be my favorite meal I've had from HelloFresh so far. That was so easy. You guys know me. I'm not a good cook. And I feel like I crushed that. They're just so good at like helping you plan what you need to do and like making sure you get everything done. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Cooking with Audra. This was like the most smooth that a Cooking with Audra episode has ever went. Now I'm gonna go eat on my newly set up deck furniture because it's beautiful outside. So enjoy the rest of your night, the rest of your day, whatever time it is where you may be. Thanks for watching. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, see you next week.